Okay, hi. This video is really for, for Kay who's asking uh, about creating custom fonts, or custom lettering. So, because there's so many options of, of doing this, which depends on if you have the hyperfont option, if you have the text option, or if you don't have either of those, creating the, the letter in the draw package. So, I just want to show you um, uh, one variation, uh, just to open your eyes of some things that are available. I want to create a new bitmap, and I'm just going to leave it the size um, that I normally do, which is 4. And there we have it in the screen, and view at 100%. And all I'm going to do here um, is go to, let's say, blue. I want an ellipse. I just want it filled for now. And as I say, this is just to give you an idea of something that we can we can do. Just open your eyes a little bit. And that's all I'm going to do is create that oval. And I'm going to save the changes. And I'm going to call this one K. Save. And here it is opened in our screen. And I'm going to now convert that in auto punch. Next. I've got the image, so I don't need to do anything there. I am going to crop. So I'm as close to the image as I can. Next. And it's telling me that um, it's nearly three inches, in, uh, sorry, nearly four inches in height, which is fine for what I want to do here. Hopefully, it'll at least be two colors, which it is. And you've seen me do all this before. I don't want to stitch the background. I want this filled, which it is stepped. And as always, I'm going to go down to the three on the density next and finish so there we have just a oval on the screen i'm going to convert it to a small hoop so it just fits in there nicely and this is where the fun starts i am going to go to my outline edit and going into my embroidery settings and into my stitch type and i'm coming down here to one called motive and this is a little bit like your FSL background. And again, I'm going to open the catalogue up. Um, the catalogue, by the way, you can view larger or smaller, large icons, small icons. And then just scroll down until you find one that you like. Um, the bottom ones here, you can change and have two colours if you want. If you, if, if you don't, you can just keep it all one colour color so anyway I'm going to come to this one here 2030 and apply that and isn't that pretty on the screen so I'm going to close that and come out of that and just in case you don't have hyper font I'm going to just go into text for this option and here we go and I'm going to do because it's K I'm going to do the letter K and I need to move that up in here and block large. That's that will be fine. I've got a height on two. I've got my spacing there. I want its color to be a let's say a pinky color and say OK and stitch it. That's looking pretty good to me. So I take the text off come to the K so I can move that around just a, a little bit click outside to move it and now I'm going to click the oval and the K slip both of them if I can here and I'm going to center the design so everything's nicely in the center and I think the uh, backgrounds lacking a little bit so again I'm going to come into my design embroidery settings and give it a satin outline and say apply close out and view the realistic view 
How cool is that, Kay? You're going to love some of these programs. And uh, I'm going to leave this one here because I just think that's uh, that's cute. And I'll uh, show you an awful lot more on fonts later on. We can do fonts in the drawing package. We can do, do fonts in the true type fonts. We can have all sorts of cool backgrounds. But uh, don't forget to save it. And I'm not going to bother saving this, but I hope it made that, that made sense to you. If you need me to, I can do it a lot slower for you. <laughs> but anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.